In this video, I'm going to tell you about five ways to improve exercise outcomes in knee osteoarthritis. Download the free PhysioTutors app now and become the best clinician you can be. Guidelines encourage exercise for the treatment of knee osteoarthritis. However, current research suggests that combining additional lifestyle changes with a standard exercise program may produce higher benefits than exercise alone. For this video, we rely on the systematic review and meta-analysis by Larissa Sattler et al., which was published in 2023. The authors investigated the influence of adding lifestyle modifications to a traditional exercise program concerning functional outcomes and quality of life among individuals with knee osteoarthritis. 16 studies were included in the systematic review and seven of these studies were meta-analyzed. Pooling of seven studies in the meta-analysis found that the addition of lifestyle modifications to an exercise program reduced the pain scores with a mean standardized difference of minus 0.68. These pain scores were assessed at varying time points, ranging from 12 weeks to 6 months. Pooled analysis of two studies revealed that the addition of lifestyle modifications to an exercise program had a significant positive effect on joint stiffness at 6 months. Seven of the studies that measured quality of life found that improvements were higher when lifestyle adjustments were included in place of exercise alone. All of the studies showed significant improvements in both the control and experimental groups after the intervention. However, a pooled analysis of the two relevant studies found no additional benefits to incorporating lifestyle adjustments with exercise in an individual's self-reported quality of life at six months. In a pooled analysis of two studies, there was a substantial improvement in time up and go speed at six months, indicating that lifestyle modifications added to exercise interventions had a favorable effect on objective physical function and walk speed. From the results of this systematic review, we can conclude that exercise and lifestyle adjustments are likely to interact positively, which means that the combined effects of both treatments are stronger than their individual effects. So, here are five ways to improve your exercise intervention. Number one, educate your patient about what is going on and what is driving his knee pain and causing his limitations. Be sure that he knows that pain does not equal more damage. Stimulate them to get going with exercises. If they are reluctant to load their knee, we refer you to our app to read about the research that was conducted about commonly used rehabilitation exercises. Number two, guide them with lifestyle advice. This can include, but is not limited to, guidance on increasing physical activity when they are sedentary and creating exercise habits. Tell them to avoid spikes in exercise, but to gradually increase the loading and maintain a healthy level of moving. Changes in exercise habits lead to additional functional benefits. So, improve their awareness of the advantages of exercise. Explain how alcohol and fatty foods can be pro-inflammatory and increase pain, so they can understand why minimizing alcohol consumption and dietary modifications can lower pain. If they are overweight, try to stimulate weight loss through advice on dietary modifications. In sum, you can give them more information or refer them to meal plans, weight loss programs, or advice on healthy recipes. Teach people ways how to cope with pain and manage the pain stressors. For example, one study in the meta-analysis included a cognitive and behavioral pain coping skill training program. This program included the balance between activity and rest, scheduling of pleasurable activities next to unpleasant obligations, finding ways to solve problems, identifying and challenging negative thoughts, counting backward and auditory stimulation. In another study included in the meta-analysis, the aim was to recognize and reduce irrational cognitions and to use attention diversion and changes in activity patterns to control and decrease pain. Self-management strategies and mind-body exercises such as yoga and tai chi may help them to reduce stress and anxiety, 
which may then exert positive effects on joint stiffness, pain, inflammation and descending and ascending activation of pain inhibition mechanisms in the central nervous system. Self-management of pain with some mobilization exercises may help as well. Track adherence to the exercises and physical activities over time. Keep asking them about how they are trying to live healthier. Let them know if they are making progress. I find it particularly I find it particularly helpful to let new patients with activity limitations do a functional test. I make sure to register how they performed and after several weeks of training, I retest. When they see their improvement in just a couple of weeks, they become so motivated to continue with your exercise program. This is especially important as it is part of the psychosocial aspect of your rehabilitation that goes further than the bio aspect that focuses, for example, on strength gains and mobility. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. For a ton of more research-related content, I refer you to our PhysioTutors app. This was Ellen for PhysioTutors. See you in the next video.